Hello everyone, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This video is all about study preparation tricks. How toppers prepare to score well. What are the steps need to be taken to score well in exams? If you are feeling that you are preparing well but you are not scoring well, then this video is for you. This video is all about what are the strategies that topper follows to score well. Without much delay, let's begin the video. Trick number one, time management. Yes, time management is very, very important. See, in a class, a normal student and topper student both will get 24 hours in a day. Topper won't get 26 hours or 28 hours. You are getting 24 hours in a day. Topper is also getting 24 hours in a day. Why he is the topper and the other person is a normal student? Because you observe in your class only, if you observe some of the students, those who are scoring well, they know how to manage their time. You properly plan your day, when to study, when to play, when to relax, when to do exercise to keep your health and mind in good condition. Time management is very, very important in case without proper plan you are studying then make sure that you have a proper plan and you are utilizing your time properly sitting longer hours for study is very very important especially most of the students they'll miss early morning hours morning four o'clock to eight o'clock if you are having a habit of studying well it means that beginning of your day you planned properly proper plan is important Tip number two is notes. Yes, you heard it correct. Notes is very, very important. Suppose you are studying mathematics. What way to prepare your notes? We call it as CDF. That means what concepts you learn in a particular chapter. What are the definitions you learn in that particular chapter? What are the formulas you learn from that chapter? All those things you write it properly. Writing in notes, it doesn't mean that you all the problems, what are the problems you solved in that particular chapter, you write at one place. It's not like that. Notes, what you learn from that chapter, that is important. In mathematics, we call it as CDF, concepts, definition, formulas. Suppose if you are studying biology, uh, whatever the points you learn, write points wise. Most of the students, they do this mistake. They don't maintain proper notes. After completion of a chapter, whatever you learn from the chapter, you please write one neat notes. Why to prepare these notes? Because your exam will be after six months, after one year, or sometimes after two years also. In case if you are a JE or NEET aspirant, on class 11th, what you learn in first chapter, that you need to revise after two years, right? Writing notes is very, very crucial. You observe your surroundings only. Whoever the topper is there, he'll maintain his notes properly. So maintaining the notes properly is very, very crucial. So whatever you learn from that particular chapter, you write it neatly so that you will also have some clarity. What are the things you learn from the chapter, right? Next third point, tests. Yes, writing tests on whatever the topic you learn is very, very important. After completion of any particular chapter, as many tests as possible, you write. Why to write the test? Because you may feel that I am good in the topic, but in the test you may not score well. So you pick one book which you not prepared. Actually, while learning, you will prepare one book now. You take some other book, randomly pick some problems or some questions. Try to test yourself how good you are in the topic, what you learn. How much score you are getting? With the tests only, we will come to know how good you are in that particular topic. Writing tests as many as possible is very, very important. Number four, targets. Many students, they do this mistake. They don't fix any end date 
when they begin a chapter yes many students they'll start but they don't fix some end date to finish the chapter before starting a particular chapter you just analyze how many hours needed to complete this chapter and you keep a target to complete that chapter in that many hours because sometimes what happens if you don't keep any target you will just begin that chapter and you will study two to three days and you are not fixed any end date so you will study relaxedly and you don't push yourself to complete the topic as quick as possible sometimes what happens you started the you will start the chapter after two three days you lose the interest and you will stop studying and you won't finish that chapter this may happen so keep a target when you start a particular chapter you keep a target by this time i will complete this chapter by this time i will complete this chapter in these many hours i will complete this chapter so it is just like pushing you little bit pushing you little bit yourself to complete that target when you know when you are going to complete the chapter then you can force yourself little bit to complete the things in time keeping targets is important in this many hours i need to complete this chapter like that you need to keep a target keeping targets is important next one is distraction you want to study but there are so many factors will be there they may distract you from studying in that number one is your mobile phone while studying you do not keep your mobile phone with you nowadays it is distracting in such a way that you want to relax to relax you will take your mobile five minutes you will feel good 10 minutes then you will addict to it it may prolong to any extent of hours sometimes two hours three hours also you can spend you, sometimes two to three hours you can waste your time easily with your mobile it happens this is happening so you must say no to mobile while studying you give that mobile to your parents you strictly inform to your parents in case if i use mobile while studying you come and slap you punish me something like that it's not same exact you inform to your family members i don't use mobile while studying some necessary steps you must take you do not allow mobile phone to your study room okay next distraction from your friends what happens uh, generally you are planned to study in so and so hours you may know that and that particular time your friends are planning to uh, go for some movie or they want to play they want to enjoy you may feel that my friends are enjoying i am not enjoying this type of things you need to avoid distractions whatever whatever comes to distract your study you strictly need to say no yes i'll follow my plan i don't distract from studies so you identify what are the distractions you have while studying avoid them see at that moment you may feel that uh, yeah if i look at the mobile it will be good but uh, once you avoided the mobile and you completed whatever the targets you kept on that day on that time after completion of the targets you will really appreciate yourself good you did a great job like that your confidence level will definitely increase because you fighted with your mind your mind is saying distract but you are saying that no i'll study that if you can avoid the distractions at that moment after completion of your targets you will get confidence like anything you please check it once last but not least discipline discipline is very crucial very important whatever plan you do if you do not show discipline to implement that plan you will fail many students knows by doing what they'll get good score some students they'll plan but they do not show discipline to follow it two to three days they'll follow and then they'll stop whatever you planned to complete the targets you need to show discipline to complete those targets discipline is very crucial see after starting the preparation ups and downs are common in everybody's preparation no one can prepare uh, like 365 days in a year they'll take breaks ups and downs are common in case 
few days you not studied properly need not to worry this is common to all you say yourself it's okay bones back bones back but do not deviate from your plan come back do not deviate from your plan show your discipline on completion of your targets i hope that these six tips are definitely going to helpful to you in case if you like this video please drop a like if i miss any particular point you please comment below if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now thanks for watching take care bye bye